Imagine traveling from Shanghai to Los Angeles in under half an hour, or circling the Earth in just over two hours. This isn't science fiction, it's the potential reality, thanks to China's groundbreaking advancements in hypersonic propulsion. Chinese scientists have successfully tested the world's first oblique detonation engine, or OD, powered by standard aviation kerosene. This revolutionary engine can achieve speeds of up to Mach 16, that's 19,600 kilometers per hour. For decades, engineers have struggled to develop an engine capable of sustaining hypersonic speeds without the limitations of conventional propulsion. But China's oblique detonation engine changes the game. Unlike traditional scramjets, which rely on subsonic combustion, the OD uses shock waves to ignite fuel, enabling more efficient and stable combustion at extreme speeds. At the heart of this breakthrough is the use of standard aviation kerosene, RP-3 jet fuel, a first in hypersonic engine technology. Historically, engines operating at these speeds relied on hydrogen-based fuels, which are difficult to store and transport. China's solution? Pre-compressing RP-3 fuel to 3,527 times atmospheric pressure before ignition, ensuring rapid combustion comparable to hydrogen, but with the ease of handling kerosene. Another game-changing innovation is the engine's combustion chamber design. Engineers placed a 5mm bump inside the chamber, triggering a self-sustaining detonation wave that stabilizes combustion. This eliminates the need for large combustion chambers, making the OD's combustor 85% shorter. The result? Lighter aircraft, longer flight ranges, and better fuel efficiency, all crucial for practical hypersonic applications. The engine was tested in Beijing's JF-12 shock tunnel, one of the world's most advanced hypersonic research facilities. Simulating real flight conditions at altitudes above 40 kilometers, the engine sustained detonation at Mach 9 for a distance of 1,550 meters within a 50 millisecond test window. While short, this test confirmed that the engine can maintain combustion under extreme conditions, a significant milestone. The implications are enormous. A fully developed OD-powered aircraft could travel from Shanghai to New York in under 40 minutes, bridging the gap between atmospheric flight and space travel. If scaled up, this technology could enable reusable space planes, making low-cost orbital access a reality. But the strategic impact goes beyond civilian travel. If successfully deployed in hypersonic aircraft and weapons, this technology could reshape modern warfare. At speeds of Mach 16, missiles, drones, and bombers powered by this engine would be nearly unstoppable, striking targets before enemy defenses even register the threat. To put this into perspective, current U.S. and Russian hypersonic missiles operate at around Mach 5 to 10. China's OD-powered vehicles would travel nearly twice as fast, making interception virtually impossible. At these speeds, a missile launched from China could reach any point on Earth in under an hour, drastically reducing reaction times for adversaries. While the potential is staggering, significant challenges remain. Sustaining hypersonic combustion over long distances, managing extreme heat and ensuring stable fuel delivery are just a few of the hurdles. But if these challenges are overcome, the possibilities are endless. China's oblique detonation engine marks a monumental step forward in hypersonic propulsion. By harnessing standard aviation kerosene to achieve speeds up to Mach 16, this innovation has the potential to transform air and space travel, offering unprecedented speed and efficiency. The dream of traversing vast distances in mere minutes is closer than ever. What do you think? Could hypersonic travel become a reality by 2030? Let us know in the comments.